Welcome to Miccosu Provincial Park on the beautiful shore of Eagle Lake. This park has something for everybody. We are Cheryl and Ben Coles. We've been camping together for over 35 years. A few years ago, we started doing video reviews of Ontario Provincial Parks to help people when researching places to visit. We are now in season five of our park reviews. We hope this helps you in deciding where to have your next camping adventure. Now, now let's, let's go camping, camping with, with the Coles. We only get one life, I wanna make it count, honey. Come on now and take my hand. And Jax is excited about the off-leash dog beach area. Beyond that, there's three other beaches. There's trails on the water. You can canoe, kayak, paddleboard, motorboat. They've got everything here. Fun for the whole family. You gotta check it out yourself. <laughs> That's a grease. <laughs> Mikasu Provincial Park is classified as a recreational park in the near north region. Situated 75 kilometers south of North Bay, just off Highway 11, Mikasu is on the shore of Eagle Lake. We are leaving <laughs> Samuel, Samuel de Champlain. Champlain. And you can probably tell by the road that we're on that we're still in the park <laughs> and we're just trying to get out of the park. <laughs> Samuel de Champlain, please do something about your road coming in. <laughs> okay, we're on our way to Mikasu. It's only, what, uh, a little over an hour away? Yep. We'll see you there. This is the trailer dump and fill station. It has one dump spot, not threaded, has two fill spots, one on each side. Neither of them are threaded either. And the water pressure is real good here. Now this is a loop, but it doesn't look like you can bypass anyone at all. You're just gonna have to wait in line. Uh, they have fixed it from last time. Last time this big loop came back out and you just got caught in the lineup to come in. You'd be stuck. And so everyone was just stuck there. But now they added another exit. So this right here is the uh, exit that they added. You can go out right there. You don't have to continue around like in the past. You have to continue around there and meet up with the people pulling into the trailer dump station and then nobody could move. So it was a little ridiculous, but it's all good now. This is us, campsite number 353 in the Pines Campground at Mikasu Provincial Park. We're at the end of a row here, so we have some pretty good privacy to our uh, passenger side, which is our door and our fire pit and everything. The ground cover is dirt and pine needles. We really like that. And uh, it's a pretty decent site with two picnic tables. There are two campgrounds with a total of 91 electric sites and 146 non-electric sites, making a total of 237 sites. The Hardwoods Campground consists of the 100s and 200s for a total of 43 electric sites and 57 non-electric sites. Sites 124 to 125 are electric barrier-free sites. The Pines Campground consists of the 300s and 400s with a total of 48 electric sites and 89 non-electric sites. Site 385 is a non-electric barrier-free site. There are two group campsites, Bonfire, is a non-electric waterfront site for up to 15 to 50 people with tents or up to four trailers. Woodlot is a non-electric forested site for 7 to 25 people and is tents only. There is a comfort station with flush toilets, showers and laundry facilities that is barrier free in each of the two campgrounds. There is a dump fill station with one dump spot and two fill up spots. There are three shallow sandy beaches. 
one in the 100s area, one in the 200s area, and one in the day use area. There is also a small fenced in beach for the dogs in the day use area. There is a boat launch into Eagle Lake by the day use area. Motor boats are permitted. There is a nine hole beginner disc golf course and an 18 hole beginner to intermediate player disc golf course. There are five interconnected loops of hiking trails in the park, all rated as easy. Beaver Meadow Trail is a two kilometer loop around an open beaver wetland. Maple Canyon Trail is 2.3 kilometers and features rock outcrops. Lakeview Trail is a 200 meter trail along the shoreline. Old Dog Trail is an 800 meter trail that connects Beaver Meadow and Maple Canyon trails. The Point Trail is a 300 meter trail on a narrow point of land that juts out into Eagle Lake. Let's check out the park. There are two group campsites. The one I'm standing on is 501 and 502 is on the water. Both sites have picnic tables and fire pits. Neither one has toilets or tap water on site, but they are close by. They are both non-electric. 501, which I'm standing on, is tents only. 502 is tents and trailers. There are three beaches. Presently, I'm on the day use beach area. There's one in the 100s and one in the 200s, and there's also a small dog beach. The Leash Free Dog Park here is awesome. It's fully fenced three ways around, water on the other side. Jack's really needed this. There are two comfort stations, one in each campground. They both have flush toilets, showers, and laundry facilities. Uh, the laundry facilities range from $2 to $3.50 per load and require quarters and loonies. Bring your own detergent. There's a boat launch on Eagle Lake next to the day use area. Motor boats are permitted. Eagle Lake is popular for pickerel, small and largemouth bass, lake whitefish, perch, and northern pike. There's a public beach with a playground right across the street from the Eagle Lake Narrow store. It's a nice spot. Dock your kayaks, walk right across the street, head to the store. There is no store at the park, but a short bicycle ride from the park is the Eagle Lake Narrow store. We actually paddled it to get here. It's a short paddle too. 
and uh, you can get ice cream here and everything that uh, a little general store would normally have. Ooh, look at that. Decided to try some key lime. It's Cheryl's Lou Review, Lou Review. Let's all talk about Lou's. Don't ask Ben, don't ask Jack, ask Cheryl. Cheryl's Lou Review. So there are several vault toilets throughout the park. They are basically a hole in the ground. Um, they're elevated on a box. They have a, a regular toilet seat on them. They have the white plastic walls, which are easy to clean. They have a trash can and sanitizer inside. They have regular household doors. Um, they don't seem to smell too bad and they're kept fairly clean. And some of them do have some pet flies in them, but that's okay. I'm going to rate these ones a flower. This is an accessible trail. Cell phone coverage in this park for Bell, Kudo, Telus, and Virgin Mobile is excellent. We've had no issues whatsoever. LTE Plus connectivity, uh, videos, phone calls, texting, everything's easy to do from here. At the park office where you check in, there's a very small park store that just has uh, some Ontario Parks merch. Uh, also at the park store, you can rent bicycles and stand up paddle boards. If you want other things such as canoes, kayaks, motorboats, you can rent them at the Eagle Lake Narrows Country Store. At the park store, you can also borrow fishing poles, tackle, PFDs, soccer balls, volleyballs, basketballs, frisbees, and discs for disc golf. They don't charge anything for it, they just require a small deposit. The Mikasu Disc Golf Pro Team. Woo! Let's go, team. Go team! <laughs> You were robbed, man. You robbed. Okay, we just finished nine holes. We're quitting at nine. And the ultimate winner is? Of course, John. Big John. Big John. So Cheryl, this is your first time playing disc golf. Correct. What did you think of it? It was fun. Yeah? 
Yeah. And Even you, though I got a bronze. Yes, you didn't come in last. <laughs> no. All right. You. you ain't first, you're last. Time again for Cole's notes for Mikasu Provincial Park. And what did you think of this park? Well, this is our second time being here mm -hmm. and we're back a second time because we enjoyed it so much the first time, but it wasn't long enough the first time. No, so as we're finishing up our uh, five park tour, we thought we'd include it in the bunch and it's worked out really well. Mm -hmm. um, it's not, it's not a big park. It's not a really tiny park. It's about 212 uh, campsites, um, two campgrounds. We really like uh, Pines Campground. I'm a Pines girl, so I like anything that has pine trees. Yeah, low ground cover, uh, or there's no ground cover really. So when yeah, you're in the prime- It is less privacy, yes, that's but what I, was gonna say. I just love the pine trees. Yeah, that's privacy, but the view is amazing. Mm -hmm. If you want more privacy, <clears throat> you can go down to the Hardwoods Campground. Yeah, that's more of your regular, typical um, secluded or more private campground sites. Yeah, because it has more low ground cover, so it provides uh, a bit of a buffering between campsites. So I think this tends to be more of a, a young family campground, it seems. There are, <coughs> excuse me, there are a lot of kids here. Yeah, both both years that we've come, it's, mm -hmm. I think it's because it's got, it's, it is a smaller campground and it's got the nice smaller sandy beaches and you can go out for quite a ways yeah. with the little ones. Yeah, the beaches are great mm -hmm. for kids. Mm -hmm. uh, three they're not small huge. sandy beaches, yeah. Yeah, they're not huge, but they're they're nice. Easy to keep your eye on your, your kids. Yeah. Don't get too far out of sight. Mm -hmm. And I also love this park for the the fenced in dog run slash beach area. So you can just let the dog run free. They can go on the water, play with other dogs. Yeah, Jack's had a riot. Oh, he he made it. so many new friends. He loved it. Yeah. Yeah. So we all, always appreciate that now, mm -hmm. especially now that we have a young dog, mm -hmm. to have a, a especially a leash free uh, dog exercise yeah, area. The young pups need to run. Free. Oh, yeah. And Can't be boy, did he ever run, as, as you've seen. <clears throat> Um, now there's not, there's a little bit of hiking, but not, not a ton. It's short trails, but that's fine. It's along the water. It's nice. Yeah. There's some along the water, short <laughs> trails. And then there's like two kilometer trails uh, on the other side of the road. Uh, they're mostly like a walk in the woods, nothing mm -hmm. all that special about them, but they're okay too. Yeah. Um, biking and, just through the park basically. Yeah. No bike trails, but this is mostly more for water activities. If you have your sups, canoes, kayaks, you can head out on the water. Mm -hmm. We uh, paddled out to the Eagles. What is it, Eagle? Eagle Lake Narrows Country Store. I can never remember that. So that was kind of fun to do because last time we, we biked it and this time we paddled out and got ice cream there. So yeah. that was fun. If you're concerned about motorboats, if you're paddling out there and you're thinking, oh, I don't like going in a lake with big motorboats, there are big motorboats there, but they kind of have to stay in between uh, the buoy the boundaries. area yeah. because there's a lot of uh, rocks just below the surface yeah, out there. So, you have to be so motorboats can't go out there. Mm -hmm. So they kind of stay in their lane and you can easily stay away from the motorboats. Mm -hmm. 
So, it's really nice paddling out there. You kind of like going around the, uh, the, the islands and yeah. over the rocks and mm -hmm. you have to be very careful on a stand-up paddle board because yeah. that, that fin will catch. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. So I think we <laughs> like this place. <laughs> you think we do? I think we like this place. I kind of think we like this place yeah. too. I'd come back here again. So what kind of rating do you want to give it? I've been thinking about it. Just coming up this way, we're so used to way down in southern Ontario. Mm -hmm. um, it's just nicer up mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. uh, I enjoy mm -hmm. it a lot more up here. Mm -hmm. uh, that raises the uh, the bar a little yeah. bit. I don't know, something about more northern parks. Yeah. I'm uh, that's not real north, but no. north enough. I love these pine trees. Yeah. Just, we're, just we're pine trees alone make it a higher rating. <laughs> we, we were speaking to somebody when we were at Driftwood at the dump station and uh, he was saying that the furthest he's ever gone south for it's camping Mikasu. was Mikasu. Like, and that wow. kind of surprised us, but yeah. he's from Timmins. Yeah. So this is a southern park for him, but mm -hmm. it's a northern park for us. Mm -hmm. So I think for a rating, I think an eight and a half is a good yes. rating. Yes, agreement, eight and a half. Yeah, we're it's gonna give this little park. an eight and a half and there it is, yes. ta-da. Drum. <laughs> I had to add some extra sound effects there. Yes. So now we are heading off to our final park of the five park tour. And that is one we haven't been to before is Osler Lake. And it's only a hundred kilometers from here. So it's not going to take us mm -hmm. long at all to get mm -hmm. there. So we'll wrap up that and. See and that'll be our five parks. Mm -hmm. So we're looking forward to Osler Lake. They also have a leash free dog park. So Jax yeah, is not really going to like that. Yes. Okay. So join us for that one and we'll see you there. Bye. There's boat launch on Eagle Lake near the day use area. Motor boats are prohibited. Are, <laughs> are, are permitted. permitted. <laughs> Motor boats are prohibited. There's a boat launch on Eagle Lake next to the day use area. Motor boats are permitted. No!